it's Nicole. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. Today's video is for a very beautiful release from Moonflower Polish. This is their newest collection and it's called Dream in Color. This is a five piece collection that is available right now. If you are new to the brand, Moonflower Polish is a US based indie brand. Their polishes are handmade, they are five free, cruelty free, and they are also vegan. Um, I will have all of the important sales details linked down below. This is available right now though and links and all that and also have a link to my blog post on nicoleofnails.com with all of my swatch photos. Um, let's just get into this one. So I will be going in rainbow order and so first up we have Read My Mind. This one is described as a blood red crally with gold to green to orange to red shifting aurora shimmer. It's priced at $9. Read My Mind had a great formula. Um, it didn't feel overly thick or thin and I did not have any application issues. Warning, this video will be repetitive. All of the polishes in this release had amazing formulas. So for what I was seeing in person, the shimmer was mainly showing a red to orange shift and I was seeing a, a greenish gold color um, at extreme angles. I did find that the brush strokes all disappear as the polish dries. This polish was the most opaque out of this release. I only needed two coats for full opacity. Um, I did not have any issues with staining. Next up we have Orange You A Dream. This one is described as an orange crelly with a blue to gold to pink to purple color shifting aurora shimmer. Orange You A Dream had a great formula. It was slightly more sheer and jelly-like in comparison to the previous polish. I found that all of the polishes in this release have formulas more similar to this one than the red polish. To my eye, the shimmer that I was seeing in person, I was seeing like two different kinds of shimmer. One was a smoother shimmer and then a second one that was more of like a micro flaky or a fleck. The smoother shimmer, the color I was seeing in person was um, like a goldish color. And then the smaller, well not small, the larger flex, I was seeing um, blue, purple, and pink. The smoother shimmer does not show brush strokes, and this polish I think is going to be opaque in two to three coats depending on thickness in coats. Um, my live swatch nail is actually good in two coats, but my, all of my other nails needed three coats. No issues on removal or staining. Next up is Wildest Green. This one is described as an emerald green crelly with gold to green to orange to red shifting aurora shimmer. Wildest Green also had a great formula, not too thick or too thin and applied very nicely. Um, this one's going to be opaque in two to three coats depending on thickness in coats. I am going to be showing it here in two coats with, <laughs> as you can see, I'm doing a, a very thick coat here. Um, but I had some nails that needed, uh, I had two nails that needed three coats. I'm doing two coats here because I use a monster thickness in coats. But yeah, just note, depending on how thick you go, two to three coats. Like the previous polish, I was seeing like a smooth shimmer and then a larger one, but I was seeing the described colors. The green base in this one has like a slightly duskier than what I normally think of when I think emerald green. I feel like this polish, if you're a seasonal polish person, this one is going to be a good um, summer to fall transition shade. Next up we have Once in a Blue Moon. Once in a Blue Moon is described as a cobalt blue crelly with a gold to green to orange to pink shifting shimmer. So unfortunately I was watching these at night so I don't have daylight shots for them. Hey, Editing Nicole here. So I thought you all might get a kick out of this next part. part this next part. Uh, so I was swatching these pretty late at night. I was very tired and I was brushing it and uh, I had a little oopsie so that's what you're about to see. Just a heads up. <laughs> Shoot, 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 shoot. What did I do? Uh, well, I guess that's two coats. As I was saying, um, I was not able to get daylight shots for these, but these looked absolutely fantastic. Um, this one had a great formula, not too thick or too thin. I had no application issues other than me overloading my brush because I was very tired. Uh, this one, I love the way the shimmer looks in this polish. It's like the other polishes that I mentioned. It seems like there are two separate shimmers. 
no issues with staining. I think this one's going to be a two to three coater depending on uh, polishing style. And the final polish is called Violet Visions. This one is described as a violet crelly with a blue to gold to pink to purple color shifting Aurora shimmer. Violet Visions, surprise, surprise, had a great formula. This one is also the most sheer out of all of the polishes in the release. Um, I think this is the only polish in this whole release that I think pretty much everyone is going to need to do three coats to get full opacity. Uh, the third coat deepens the color to what you see in the bottle. I loved the way the shimmer paired with this base. If you don't already know, blue, pinks, and purples are probably the colors that I personally purchase the most. And to have them all in here, I just thought it was absolutely fantastic. Like the other palette, like the, all the polishes except for the red, this one seemed to have two different kinds of shimmer, a smoother one, and then a more, a, a larger particle sized one. So no issues with staining or removal. This, all of the polishes in this release dried nice and smooth. So that is everything. Um, so usually when I have like a release like this, the purple and the blue tend to be my favorite because purple and blues, just those are colors that I personally gravitate towards. So for this release, those are my favorites, but I loved all the polishes all together. So I would love to know, have you picked up this release? Are you going to pick up this release? Um, what are you buying right now? I'm a little curious because I, have, I feel like I'm starting to get a little out of the loop on releases outside of the major boxes. And anyway, um, I will talk to you all in the next video.